Hello folks, this is Jamil Surfer Gunstock Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona. And today, some of our viewers have asked us for shotgun content. So guess what? We're gonna give you some shotgun content. Today we have, of course, my retrograde um, Mossberg 590. And I really like this shotgun. It has all the features I like. It has the old fashioned look to it. Well, what could be better than the 590 retrograde? Well, the 590A1 retrograde. I just added this to my collection, and I'm gonna give you some of the differences between this and the original um, 590. Of course, we already talked about this when I showed you my buddy's Magpul edition of the 590. This one is just a little different. Of course, has the wood furniture, the standard uh, butt pad, and of course, the difference between the 590 and the 590A1, just to remind you is, in the 590A1, your safety tank is metal, your trigger guard is metal, and your barrel is thicker. So those are the main three differences. Another extra difference on the 590A1 retrograde is your ghost ring rear. This is the their factory original Mossberg um, uh, retrograde style uh, ghost ring rear sight, and your front sight has a dovetail on it and it's silver soldered on, it's pretty cool. And it has an orange line on it, which is really cool too, really high visibility in an indoor range like this. So I'm gonna go shoot this one for the first time today. I just got it last week. And it has a cheese grater on top in case you need cheese for your tacos. You're ready to go get a piece of cheese and just rub it on it. You'll get some grated cheese on it. So let's go ahead and shoot it and have some fun with it. Shoot some buckshot. We're about 10 yards. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot it. See the point of impact at this distance. Well, it's just right on. This is amazing. The other shotgun with this one here, the 590, was about two inches high. This one is dead on at about 10 yards. One more. Oh, one more. Ooh, I forgot how, how many rounds I loaded into it. Now I'm empty. Okay, check it out, guys. Look at this. At 10 yards, I had one, two, three, four, five, six pellets out of the black. And this is about eight, nine inches in diameter. So yeah, this, this, with this ammo, with this gun, you know, remember ammo changes everything. So you're gonna be able to see differences in pattern, up, down, left, right, depending on your gun and depending on your ammo. So you always sight in your ammo and make sure ammo hits where you want it to hit. I tell you what, one cool thing about this, like I told you the cheese grater, if you shoot this a lot, you're not only gonna get grated cheese, but melted grated cheese. Because even though it's supposed to be a heat shield, it does get hot when you fire it quite a bit. So what am I gonna say on this one? Of course, you know that I can leave things well enough alone. I'm gonna be working on this uh, shotgun. I like, I really like this ghost ring, but I like the XS rail slash ghost ring combination. So we're gonna take it to Marty. We're gonna order that XS sight system on it. And I don't know if I'm gonna leave this uh, front sight on or use the XS one. I know it's not gonna look as retrograde as it is gonna look a little more tactical. It's gonna be a combination between tactical and retrograde, but it's more versatility having that rail on it, so you can throw a red dot on it. One of those, uh, like a Burris Fast Fire or something like that, or a Bushnell or something like that with a clamp on, you can clamp on a red dot on it and you'll get even more range and you can sight it in to your taste. So again, guys, if whether you want the 590 Retrograde or the 590A1 Retrograde, these are two great shotguns is depending on your budget and your needs. Do you need a thicker barrel? Do you need rifle style sights? Do you need the metal trigger guard? Do you need the metal uh, safety tank? It's all up to you and your budget. The difference is not super considerable, but it's 
yeah, you can actually tell the difference in price between one and the other, but you know, check your dealer out and t try them both. Um, I really, I don't know which one to pick. I like them both for a different use. I'm gonna customize this one a little bit, and I might customize this one too, just a little bit. There are things we could do to it to make them, you know, not better, but make them your own. This is the cool thing is about Mossberg. There's so many aftermarket products for it, especially from guys like XS and all sorts of other manufacturers. Our Van Comp is gonna have a whole new line of parts for Mossberg too. So, you know, check it out. And again, guys, like always, please stay safe, be healthy, and have fun on the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.